what are recruitment metrics their measurements for tracking the hiring success rate and for optimizing the hiring process for an organization these metrics help to evaluate the recruiting process and whether the organization is hiring the right people hiring someone who is more sweetened for the job has the potential for great return on investment making the right recruiting decision is very important let's look at some examples of recruitment metrics time to hire represent the number of days between the moment a candidate is approached and the moment the candidate accepts the job. It provides a solid indication of how the recruitment team is performing. A shorter time to hire often enables you to hire better candidates, preventing the best candidate from being snatched up by organizations that have shorter time to hire. It also impacts your candidate experience as nobody likes a recruiting process that takes a longer time. Source of hire. Tracking the sources which attract new hires to your organization is one of the most popular recruiting metrics. This metric also helps to keep track of the effectiveness of different recruiting channels. First year attrition. This is a key recruiting metric and indicates the hiring success. Candidates who live in the first year of work fail to become fully productive and this can be costly. The employer can terminate the contract or an employee can live on their own accord. The former is often an indicator of bad first year performance or bad fit with the team. The second is often an indication of unrealistic expectations which causes the candidate to quit. This could be due to a mismatch between the job description and the actual job or the job or the organization has been oversold by the recruiter. Quality of hire it's measured by someone's performance rating. It's an indicator of the first year performance of a candidate. Candidates who receive high performance ratings are indicators of hiring success while the opposite holds true for candidates with low performance rating. Low first year performance rating indicates bad hires and we know that a single bad hire can cost an organization thousands of dollars cost per hire this is the total cost invested in hiring divided by the number of hires cost per hire consists of both internal and external costs and by quantifying all of them then you can calculate the total recruitment cost candidate experience is the way the job seekers perceive an employer's recruitment and the onboarding process it's measured using a candidate experience survey this survey uses net promoters scores and helps to identify key components of the experience that can be improved. Cost of getting to optimum productivity level. This is the total cost involved in getting someone up to speed. This would include things like onboarding costs, training costs, the cost of supervisors and co-workers involved in the on-the-job training and many more. Usually a percentage of the employee's salary is also included in this calculation. Time to productivity. It measures how long it takes to get people up to speed and productive. It's the time between the first day of hiring and the point where the employee fully contributes to the organization. Recruiting metrics are an essential part of a data-driven hiring and recruitment analytics. You should only keep track of metrics that matter to your business.